Welcome back to Better Kansas City. It's a local organization that's raised millions for cancer patients who are uninsured in Kansas City. It's an artistic way to do so. Take five to care and take part in Brocateur KC. Joining us now is Cheryl and Nikki Tobe, who have been part of Brocateur KC for seven years. So Cheryl, we're gonna start with you first off. How did you begin your journey with Brocateur KC? I started as a runway model for the event without ever being involved in it, didn't know exactly what to expect but it is a show that promotes survivorship and I am a, an 11 year breast cancer survivor and was asked to do it on behalf of the Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs and modeled and then fell in love with everything the event stood for and now have volunteered for the past five years. Okay, Cheryl, and this is you with Dustin Colquitt, but you also have a greater connection to the Chiefs with your husband being Dave Tobe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's like, yeah, of course I, I got do. brought into all of this. You know, and, and your daughter, because this really is about not just you going through it, but also your family going through it and your family also volunteering. So, yes. you know, you actually have been painting and mm -hmm. you have some lovely work that you. <laughs> you made that showed last year yes. and it's also right here. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you to create this? Well, we had an assignment to sc for school and we had mm -hmm. to create a series based on like something that we like cared about. So like immediately the first thing that came to mind was like my experience when my mom had breast cancer. And I wanted to create something that wasn't just about my story and my mom. I wanted to create something that was about everyone. So I created this series like the first piece is about like the diagnosis and like the pain mm -hmm. and like the veins like piercing into you and like you don't know how to feel. And then the second one is therapy. So it has like the hair falling out and like the vein is starting to grow a flower as you're getting mm -hmm. cured. And then the third one is like the mastectomy scar and like all the cured like cancer cells and like the regrowth of hair and like the better skin tone. And it's like, it was a really amazing experience to paint those for. Well, that is so <laughs> remarkable, and you've you. been creating these paintings for about seven years. Yes. So she started that series. Guys, we're going to brag on her for a second. When you're 16 <laughs> years old. She's just she's 18 now. Yeah. You know, that's, that's really amazing. And, of course, like, you obviously were there for your mother. Mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe you can talk a little bit about how the whole family, like, sort of goes through this together when it does happen. Well, when you're first diagnosed with cancer, most people put their focus on themselves in the regards to how am I going to beat it? Can I beat it? Will right. I survive this? It doesn't take long before you realize you're not in the battle alone. Mm -hmm. You've got, you know, whether it be spouses, you know, children, mm -hmm. siblings, family, friends. It's a huge circle. And this event really does focus in on allowing them to see how you've survived, that there is life after cancer, that we can beat it. So you have been and chosen to be a part of Brocateur Casey. If there was one thing that you would like to say to people to get involved or to you know, make a difference, what would you like to say to them today? Well, there's various ways you can make a difference, starting mm -hmm. off from, you know, all the way from corporate sponsorships, such as yourselves, um, to volunteering the day of the event, to creating the bras. You know, we like to say that our event is not just about the bra because it's what goes on inside, you know, everything else. But we do even have a male on the runway this year who is a cancer survivor. Um, so we wow. cover all forms of the cancer. We help uninsured patients here in town um, with any aspect that they need to get through this process. Well, Nikki and Cheryl, thank you so much. And of course, you can also donate or bid on artwork just like that, what we saw. Now you can actually take five to care and take part in Brocateur KC. That's April 24th. The kickoff is at 6 p.m. and it takes part at the signature hangar at the downtown KC airport. For more information, just go to kcv5.com and click take five to care.